Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. One of my subs has been asking and asking for a review of this tank, the AMX 30B. Now, I'm happy to do reviews for you guys, but I do review a lot of things. I make videos on lots of different topics, so it takes time. I don't just jump into a tank just because you asked me to. Now, if you contribute to the channel, of course I'd be more than willing to do it for you because you're helping me, so I'm more than willing to do it for you as well. But otherwise, you're just gonna have to wait. I'll get around to it eventually. So anyway, I've got four games for you with this tank. Why four? Why not? Well, I think this tank is a tough tank for many people to play, so I guess it deserves a few extra games to kind of understand how to play it. I think I've got a few good ones for you. So what do I think about this tank? Well, overall, I'm gonna go with okay. And I'll say that because I think a lot of players will struggle with this tank. Gun, good. It's not great for sure, and it's not even very good. I would just go with good. Armor, I have to go iffy. Yeah, you can get panned left, right, and center on this tank. However, you will get the occasional crazy bounces or two. So it's kind of a weird one. Lastly, maneuverability. I'm gonna go with great. Yeah, this is an agile tank. In many ways, this feels like a slower Draken tier 10. That's how I would describe it if you wanna know what this tank plays like. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's jump right in to the first game. Looking at the lineups, well, hmm, quite balanced. We have a Progetto, a T22 medium, and myself versus an E50M, uh, AMX30, whatever it is, prototype, and the T5041. I guess we have the advantage because we have three tier 10 meds. Question is, will they all come this way? So far, so good. Okay. As you can see, I'm off. This tank is fast. The acceleration is great. So you can flex in this tank. In many ways, it feels like a worse Leopard. The gun just isn't as good as the Leopards, unfortunately. But easy to get up here, so you can take an advanced position in pretty much every game, unless you're fighting a Leopard, which is just as fast with a better gun. Just waiting to see if I can find the E50M. Okay, there he is. He's not looking at me. As you can see, I bounced that shot. Not a great start. Progetto's just sitting here but we have a T22 medium who can cause all sorts of trouble against lots of tanks, especially those tier nine guns. Mm, two tanks are over there. Okay, I think I'm gonna move up a little bit. Now this tank has decent gun depression, so you can do peaks over here like this. Where are they? We only know where two tanks are right now. I guess three E50 somewhere around here. There he is. Okay, if we could pick off one of these medium tanks on their team, I think would be golden on this side. But you've gotta be careful of those TDs. Peak too soon, on Castilla especially, you can get ripped apart. So playing very cautiously, very passively, and that's what I would suggest for the non-pro players to do. Okay, our T22's moving in. And he finds their, oh, AMX, 30 sniping. Nice shot in there. I did thread the needle on that one. I'm surprised I hit it to be honest. Hmm, no TDs so far. That's good news. Oh, nice shot AMX. Crazy. I didn't think you'd be able to hit me from that distance. Okay, now Progetto is. Okay, we've gotten rid of their JPPZ. That's great news, but the Progetto here, he's. Um... Has he got any shots? Nope, I don't know what he's doing. Um, I guess he's, he's not the best of players. Yeah, this position can be good if the enemy is pushing in, but they're not. So, okay, our IS-8 is going to be mincemeat in a second. No shocker there. Most players can't play the IS-8. Okay, now the T-22 is there, but he hasn't lit up anybody. I don't know, what's going on here? We're still missing a few tanks. They are sitting at the back. Aha, one tank, two tanks. 
Okay, this guy is not the best player for sure. Should be an easy kill, but he's behind cover, unfortunately. Took another hit for my trouble. But uh, now this T-22 needs help because he's getting pushed on by three tanks. I'm going to focus the T-54. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened there, so wasn't able to help our T-22 that much. Luckily, he's not focusing me, but I don't think our T-22 is going to last. Where is our Progetto? I don't know. Come on, Progetto. Punish these guys. Okay, he's gone. Now, I was thinking of going down, but... Don't really want to tussle with the E50M just yet. Aha! Uh -huh. There's the Progetto. He's pushed in, not really doing a great job, but at least he's not rushing to his death, I guess. And there's one guy sitting at the back there. Chieftain's gone. I don't think the Progetto is going to be able to hold here if they push on in. So you know what? I'm going to get the heck out of here. Leave those guys there. I'm going to help our heavies and our TD. I should say our heavy. This guy's a one-shot. This tank, I think, is more effective at this time in the game when there are not that many tanks on the battlefield, you know their positions, you've got free reign to be able to move around the map. This tank can really shine, just like a bat chat. But the gun is just not as good as a bat chat. Okay, the Progetto came with, that's good news. Just need to spot them up and let our team go to work. Okay, dum dee dum. I guess we don't have a heavy. I think we have an E3. Huh. Okay, anyway. Oh, great job, AMX. He killed himself, so that makes things a whole lot easier. They do have an E4 in their team, but I have enough health to probably take two hits from him, as long as he doesn't ammo rack me, which is always a possibility with a super big gun and a tank such as this. Okay, there's one. There they are. Okay, so now I know where they are. I'm going to push on in. Now, Progetto, who doesn't have that much health, really should just wait and let me do the introduction, shall we say. So I'm going to zoom up here. They don't know where we, are, where we are. Surprise attack. That's great news. I'm about to pop in. There he is. Come on, come on. And he vaporizes our Progetto. So genius move, Progetto. Ugh. Why do you do that when you're a one-shot? I don't get that. And uh, lucky us, the E50M is AFK. Um, he wouldn't have survived anyway. Not with the three tanks we have on the battlefield, I don't think, anyway. Two shots, and he's gone. So 2,400 and change. Not a great game by any stretch of the imagination, but I think it illustrates how fast this tank is and some of the positions you can use. Good gun depression. It's fast, it can get up hills quickly and get around the map quite well. Anyway, that's the first game. Second highest damage, not bad. So here we are on the second game. Looking at our team, we've got a STB1, excellent, and myself. Unfortunately, I was getting a drink at the beginning of this game, so I don't pop in right away. They have a 1-2-1-B one, one, and a... Well, that's it. So we've definitely got control of the med side, as long as they don't all push in together. But at least we can outspot them. So our STB should be golden here. He can just peek on over, control the bridge. They can't push on him. Can't pen his turret 90% of the time. Our T-30 is heading over there. Sounds good. Sounds good. But our STB goes, no, 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 no. I'm not going that way. I'm going to go this way. And I'm like, uh, what's going on? I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. And T-30 decides he's not going either. So I'm like, uh, you know what? What the heck? That's what I think. I'm gonna go see if there's anybody here. I think we need spotting on this side of the map. It's dangerous to leave the, the bridge completely unspotted because they can just pick you off at distance. So I should be able to, you know, maybe take on the 121B, hopefully anyway. I do have more agility, I just don't have the armor or the gun. I'm gonna get A. 121's not here, so that's good news. Four tanks over there. I might get lucky. Might have nobody else over here. Might have nobody over here. Wow. Oh, look what we have. We have the IS-7. So he's not as fast as I am. I'm hoping I can just avoid him, let him focus on our tanks. But he decides, no, he's going to come and introduce himself. Okay, I'm just going to back on up here. So if I can keep the IS-7 away from our team... I think our team should be able to rip right through them because the IS-7's strength is taking shells 
and holding the line, but oh, brother, I run into the one, two, one. Oh my goodness, so now I'm sandwiched between these two guys. Oh, brother, and he's holding me in. Eight sheets to the rear, and this one, two, one misses completely. I have to focus on one of them. I'm gonna focus on the one, two, one B. Uh, what is he doing? He's not even turning around. Oh my goodness. Spoiler alert, this guy's a 40% player. I mean, what is he doing? He's giving me his rear? No, 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 you don't want to do that. That's just, oh my God. And IS7's here, he's helping you and you're not even helping him. That's just insane. So now I would love to go after that one, two, one, but I don't want to take a bunch of hits from the IS7. Luckily the IS7 fired two HEs and they didn't really land, which was crazy. <laughs> the rear of my tank, I should be ripped apart by now but my speed is preventing him from really doing much so i've got this guy out of the game he can't do anything he pushes one way i go the other way so i'm letting my team focus the rest of the team over there six versus well now three oh wait a minute oh gosh i got another guy here so two <laughs> so i've got two of them over here trying to kill me and they're still struggling <laughs> that's crazy so our team will have no problem getting rid of them that guy missed and bounced that shot. I'm just trying to get out of here. Will I survive? That's the question. I'm just trying to get the heck out of here. And the answer is <laughs> I managed to survive. So now I'm just gonna get away, got no health. I'm a one shot. They could probably sneeze at me and I'm dead. But now I'll be able to repair my tank safely away from any danger and maybe do a little bit of damage while they're the, dealing with the rest of my team. So not bad. I did my job, I think. Here's the IS-7. He's focused on someone else. I'm gonna come behind him, get some shots in. That's fabulous. So free damage for me. He's going after the IS-7. Sorry, not the IS-7. Uh, he's going after the T-95. So one shot in there, two shots. Would have loved to have another shot or two shots. And it's all over. 2,500 and change this time. So a slightly better than last game, but wow. I mean, wow. Uh, I should not have survived that. Absolutely should have been ripped apart by those two tanks. Well, three tanks in the end, but look at that. Oh my goodness. An absolute massacre. I did another video about massacres, but this has to be up there. Look at that. Oh my goodness me. One guy did 2,000. Nobody else scored over 1,000. <gasps> okay, moving on to our third game. Now, this time we're on Canal. We have an STB who's in a good clan, so we're in good hands. We've also got a Vickers Light, a WZ121. We definitely have the advantage on the medium side. So hopefully we can rip right through their Leopard and Sheridan quickly, and then just continue our charge. But I am gonna make a mistake here. So, spoiler alert, I don't have the best game and I won't survive, <laughs> that's for sure. Anyway, um, I just wanted to see if my speed could get me up there at that angle, just to show you guys, but uh, I missed the angle, so it happens. No big deal. I wasn't really gonna stay there anyway. Wanted to be over here. We've only got Leopard. He's taken two hits already. You know what? I think it's time I make my move. He's focused on that guy. We have three guys over here. We should be able to rip this Leopard apart. So I'm gonna pop up over here. I've got decent gun depression as I've told you. Again, I don't quite have the angle, unfortunately. So, but now I do, boom. So he's getting hit from behind. I love that when you get people caught in a crossfire. Love somebody else to help me out, but here we have somebody else pushing in. So I've gotta be careful, I'm gonna take the base here. Now my buddy pushed in with the FB4005. Not sure that's the best idea. Woo! Yeah, I mean, he's as big as a house. And then Sheridan wants me, so I'm gonna let him hit me, who cares? I'll take a hit for the team, because it brought him in closer. And now we can hopefully get rid of him. Yes, so. Unfortunately, it's two tanks down on both teams. Don't want to fight the crab frontally, that's for sure. So I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to completely reposition myself. I'm just trying to spot over here. Is anybody at sea? Kind of make a run for it. And uh oh, this is a mistake because boom. <laughs> oh boy. And boom. So the FV hit me and so did the crab. And I am down to a one shot. So, is it the end of my game? No, no it is not. I'm just gonna run, get the heck out of here. I figure there's no one at A. 
And if there is, well, I'll spot him up for my team at least to give them some information. Do I have any shots from over here? This is a good position actually to shoot. And the answer is I do. Can I hit him? Yes, I can. So not bad. I could stay here, but I'm going to head over to A. And you're going to see why in a second. I've got good speed. I've got a, if I've got a shot while I'm moving, I will stop and take it. But I'm not going to go for B because you never know. Somebody could be around here lurking. So I'm going to go all the way around and see if I can avoid all their tanks. I'm guessing they're all near C and D. But let's find out. Is anybody over here? Anybody over here? Hello? Hello? The answer is no. Now, I could have not gotten base A. I could have just left and just sniped and kept myself kind of hidden. But I figure, you know, a base is always helpful for our team, so I'm going to get a base. So I've got two bases for our team, D and A. And now, look what I have here. Yeah, these guys were hull down, but easy shots from the side. So one shot in there. Can I get another one? The answer is, yes, I can. Two shots. He's like, what's hitting me? So he doesn't want to push in. I'd love to hit him. I, now, I bumped my uh, iPad there, so unfortunately I missed it. But he's gone. Now I have the, the crab. I've tracked him, hit him, doing some easy damage, supporting my team, causing all sorts of trouble that I didn't hit, unfortunately. I'd like to get a better shot. I'm going to move over. And, uh oh, we have a problem. This guy's coming over. <laughs> Not going to survive this. Luckily, he misses, but that guy doesn't. So I get taken out. Anyway, we end up winning this. 2,400. Not bad, especially considering I got wrecked by the FV183. But I came in second, so not bad, if you ask me. And I think it shows what this tank can do in the, in the concept of speed, getting around the map. Anyway, lastly, we have this game. Mines. Now, this is a good map for this tank. Why? Because you can probably take the hill as long as you don't get hit by too many tanks getting up there. You do need support. They've got a Sheridan. Probably going to take a hit from him. Skoda might get a hit from him, and I might get hit from a TD or a Heavy. So I just have to kind of pray. I'm using my speed boost. Can I get there? Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. There's the Sheridan. I hit him once. Took it two hits for my trouble, but I'm gonna continue on round. Oh, don't, can't quite turn here. Can I get the Sheridan? No, I can't. But I have now got control of the hill, and luckily I didn't take too many hits. Okay, we've got one guy over here, and the Sheridan's going back. So now I'm gonna be, play patient because I can just peek on over here, and any tank that kind of pushes in, oh, up over, our team should get punished. TVP was able to get up there. Wow, um, that's crazy. And here's the E5. Okay, Mr. Sneaky Sneaky coming around the back. A little bit too early if you ask me. And I don't think he's the best player because he's kind of in the open. Not using the house for cover. Ooh, he got hit hard there. And he, yep, you know, he's getting tracked. And he's getting tracked again. Oh my gosh, he is getting ripped apart. Oh, trying to get behind some cup. No, he's not even getting behind cover. Can't quite hit him. Can I get him? Tracked him. Don't want to take a hit, but he's not really looking at me. You can see there's still a lot of red, even though I'm on top of him. Bounce that shot, but he's gone. So, one tank down. That's good news. They've got two tanks sitting at the back in the TD spot. Can I get a shot in here? Uh, unfortunately, I've only got a one a shot on the T95 at this distance. Yeah, I should have changed the APCR, but I'm not going to bother. He's not a tank I really want to deal with until the end. So I'm gonna focus on the other tanks. We've got another guy trying to sneak around here. Okay, yeah, he's not gonna last long. If he pushes in here. Yeah, well, he's dogging. Me. Boom, boom. So two tanks down. We've lost one. This guy is one shot. That guy's a one shot. Sheridan's not looking good either. So can I get a shot at? No. He's gone. This guy's one shot. Can we get rid of him? Okay, come on, Sheridan, back on up. You know you want to. I was thinking about spying up the TDs, but don't want to get <laughs> hit by their guns for sure. As I said, this tank doesn't have the best armor. TVP decides to push over and he gets hit for his trouble. 
yeah, he's lucky he didn't get hit harder, to be honest. Sheridan's now popped up on our radar. Can I hit him? The answer is, yes, I can. Can I get rid of him? The answer is, yeah, no. <laughs> and now the T95 is on his lonesome. Zero maneuverability. And I've got me and my speed demon. I'm just going to zoom on in here. So there you go, the AMX 30B. I think I've showcased a few games on how to play this game, this tank. I didn't do any crazy damage games. I did have one good game, but I'm gonna use that for another replay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's not an easy tank, I think, for many players, but as you can see, the speed is its greatest advantage. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please don't ask me to keep reviewing this tank, although I will do another uh, review of a game I had in it later on. But uh, if you want to contribute to the channel, please do so by clicking the link below. Any contribution goes a long way to helping me keep making more videos for you. And uh, that's all I got for you. Sub if you like. would love to have you. Thumbs up would help. Tell the alg algorithm that I'm a pretty cool guy. I'll see you next time. Slugs on Blitz, out.